Capital's road trip, fathers, mentors, and friends. Here's Lisa Hillary. Caps players are in good hands this weekend. 16 fathers and or fathers-in-law have joined the boys on a road trip. First stop, Sunrise, Florida, where they'll take on the Panthers. Second stop, Tampa Bay, when they'll take on the Lightning. Experiencing life on the road, but mostly just hanging out with their sons and watching them play the game that they so dearly love. These proud papas participated in what's becoming a league-wide tradition, a father and son's mentors trip. It's an opportunity for the dads to see their sons during the season and a chance to reflect, reflect on a journey that has come full circle. Take them to the arena before you go to work. Uh, lots of times up at uh, five o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning, go to the arena, spend a couple hours there. Uh, that happened a lot. Um, Games till uh, 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty hectic. Yeah, I know the 5:30s. Uh, you know, sometimes I had to get him up and drive me, but uh, you know, he uh, he was he was great and uh, putting me in all the sports and uh, driving me there and uh, pushing me and uh, helped me out through there. And you know, I owe a lot to him. And uh, I'm just uh, happy that I could uh, give him the experience to come down here and uh, enjoy it. We're off to Detroit every weekend or Chicago or St. Louis, and you know, you kind of look back and say, oh, it's great, but. Man, you know, could we have spent this money some other way or save for college or, or that kind of stuff? And, uh, um, but in the end, it, it definitely was worth it. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, anytime you can uh, bring him on a road trip and have him experience your life for uh, four or five days, you know, um, I've been through his life for 25 years now, so uh, it's great to give him back. I think the boys all appreciate their dads. They, they remember the drives, all the miles, and uh, it's, it's a tough goal when you, um, you know, you start them off at three and four and take them right through. I'm Paul Bradley, and proud father of Matt Bradley of the Washington Capitals. The biggest thing is if you can find something you like to do, you'll never work a day in your life. And Matt has found something he likes to do. And uh, it's rewarding for me as a parent to see any uh, of your children find something they really can sink their teeth into and enjoy. You know, I've been playing for seven years and haven't got an opportunity to do this. And, you know, it's, it's just nice to give them an inside look at kind of our day to day life. And um, it's always fun to share, uh, share with our, our dads. In just hours from now, the Panthers and the Capitals will take to the ice in a battle of Southeastern Division foes. The dads have arrived here at the morning skate, and while that may not sound like the most exciting thing, you cannot tell by the look on their faces. My name is uh, Kurt Steckel. I'm from West Bend, Wisconsin, and I'm the proud parent of David Steckel, number 39. It's like, oh, wow, you know, the, you know my, my son's name is down here, you know, my son Benishkin and all that kind of stuff. I mean, it, it, you know, every dad's proud, but uh, it, 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 this is a special moment for me. My name is uh, John Morrison and I'm a very proud father and mentor of Sean Morrison. Every locker room has a feel to it. It's, it's like a karmic feel and uh, you just go in there and you can feel all the games, all the memories. While the boys were having their pregame nap, the fathers learned that no trip to Florida was complete without a tour of the Everglades. I can't wait to get on this boat trip because uh, from, we're from Victoria, B.C. and uh, we don't do anything like this. We have uh, salmon fishing and things like that, but in terms of getting out on a swamp and seeing some alligators and uh, all the wildlife out here and it's 80 degrees or 85 degrees with the dads here, we're going to have so much fun. Captain Bob brought us aboard the Panther. How fitting as the Capitals were playing the Panthers that night. Now, Captain Bob wasn't convinced we would see an alligator, but not moments later. Oh, I 
guys, I'm going to ask you to slide over half a seat. This alligator has been known to try to climb up in the boat. You are within striking distance of this alligator right now. They can leap anywhere three to six feet. If he does climb up in the boat, my job is to push him back out. So let me tell you guys that alligators are not the true man-eaters that people make them out to be. I'd never been on a fan boat in my life before, so that was quite something. And it was very informative, very educational. So I learned a lot, and um, it's a good place not to try to walk through on a shortcut. Off in the horizon, the site of tonight's game. In part two of our journey, the Capitals take on the Panthers, and a Hall of Famer makes a surprise stop to visit with the dads.